today we'll talk about stages of varicose veins. Now, the science describes many staging systems, which is CE, AP system, RVCS system. There are so many staging systems that are scientifically explained. But for convenience, we will describe varicose veins into four stages. This is not an official scientific statement, but this sort of a staging is very important for us to understand the severity of the disease. No, you have a normal leg in which there are no visible veins or no leg symptoms and that would be stage zero. Now, if you had any visible veins, now visible veins at stage one, by description, we mean less than three millimeters in size. Those small veins are called venules and the even smaller ones are called capillaries and telling ectasia. So telling ectasia, uh, which means presence of small veins that are seen on the legs and the veins that are smaller than three millimeters that are seen on the legs basically constitute stage one. In the first stage, there is never pain, discomfort, aching, or there usually are no symptoms that are suggestive of varicose veins. It's usually a visible problem. That means you see visible varicose veins. Once you progress to stage two, we see slightly larger veins that are more than three millimeters or same size veins, but you start having symptoms. These symptoms include aching at the end of a long day, some leg swelling, reddish or blackish discoloration of the legs that is like a light hue. It's not a full black discoloration, but a hue of discoloration. In stage two, basically you start having what's called a symptomatic varicose veins. In third stage, you start having swelling in the legs or blackish discoloration of the leg. The skin loses its normal luster and starts looking black and it loses its normal shine and sheen of the appearance. And almost all the time in stage three, there is significant pain. Very often when there is severe varicose veins in stage three, the normal fat is eaten away and the leg starts assuming a wine glass like appearance and that's called lipodermatosclerosis. And usually that usually indicates irreversible and end stage varicose veins. And in stage four, it almost invariably forms an ulcer. Many people think that diabetes is the most common cause of ulcer, but actually more common is vascular diseases. 85% of leg ulcers in non-diabetic populations are venous in origin. So in stage four varicose veins, we start seeing ulcer formation, which is breakdown of the skin. And that indicates very severe venous disease. And usually to come back from that stage to the first stage takes a very, very long time, even after successful treatment. Hence, one should avoid going into stage four.